Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is uh, ITS 148, and this is spring 2021, and it is the uh, second class video of the semester. And uh, <clears throat> so let me uh, let me share my screen here. Share screen number three. Okay, so um, uh, this is uh, the syllabus. And we are in week two, so we are doing um, these these exercises here. We are finishing up chapter eight, and, and as I mentioned before, uh, chapter eight is really a, um, a, a a nice you know review. I just grabbed one chapter. I thought it was probably the most important chapter uh, that we uh, went over uh, that we did in one in 128 uh, towards the end because it's got pretty much everything. Um, so uh, today, um, uh, let's see. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you that what I did was in in La Lima in the resources section where we have uh, the, the class videos here. We have class videos here. And uh, this was the first one, the first video right here. And then um, what I've done is I've gone and grabbed three videos from ITS 128 that you might remember. They were class number 25, 26, and 26B. When it, this was during Thanksgiving weekend, or th Thanksgiving week. And these are all, these are the three um, chapter eight videos uh, from, la from last semester. So, you know, that cover is basically chapter eight, except for it does not cover the new labs. Okay, so, um, and so, and today is technically the, um, the uh, it's, it's, it's the last day of, of uh, oops. It's the last, uh, <clears throat> the last class in this week, in this week section. So I'd like to sort of finish up chapter eight today. And uh, uh, what you can do is if it's not fresh in your mind or if you uh, just want to go back and watch the videos, you can, you can go over and, and I, uh, I'll post all these videos on this on this calendar too. I meant to do that, but um, they will always be in the resources section. And then, and then, so so really, technically, today is video number two, and I'm going to put that down below here. So you'll see video one, and these are three from last from last uh, semester that cover chapter eight, and then there'll be video number two down here. And what I'd like to do today, uh, mainly, make sure is to get through these two uh, uh, eight point. 24 and 8.25. These are new labs. Uh, and I went through 8.23 uh, last last time, which was uh, <clears throat> uh, on Tuesday. By the way, remember to go in and click on the uh, click on keep your your when is good availability up to date. I I changed the times uh, the start times in the morning for the morning classes. So if you could go in and, and check those off because the, you know, the old ones aren't there anymore. Well, they're still there. It, 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 and if I ever go back to uh, the older start times in your, your data, your, the ones you've checked off are, are still there, but I'd like you to keep this up to date because my week changes as, as you can see. Uh, the next couple of weeks, I'm not going to be available uh, uh, Monday afternoon. So I added this 10.30 a.m. Monday day uh, time, time slot, which I didn't have there before. Um, see, anyway, um, so let's um, so let's get started with, um, I want to go over and just point out what I think are the import, important uh, sections and tables and so on in chapter eight. Uh, and then, and then I'll, I'll try to um, bang off these two labs and then that'll be it for chapter eight. And of course, you know, you have, you have the rest of the book uh, as, uh, as reference that, that you had last semester in case you need to go back and <clears throat> remind yourself of something 
And so I think we did uh, this last time too, but uh, lists, this describes a list and, and a list is just an array. Uh, uh, and that's where it's indexed. And this is the zero, the one, the two, the three, the fourth element. This is a five element array. And this is, this is how you define a list. Uh, <clears throat> and so there's an order to them. Uh, you can have a particular thing in the list more than once. You know, you, you know, you can have a, a, you can have, well, there's one 17, you know, more than once. That's, that's not a problem with the list. And uh, some of the common list operations are, um, you can, uh, this is, this is a way that you can create a list. And this, some of this terminology, this is an iterator thing. Uh, it, <clears throat> You can uh, you can get an element from a list by uh, having the list name and the index there as the index of it. So it's the zero or the one or the se second kind of thing. Uh, you can de de you can define a sublist uh, as by by indexing it this way. The start and the end. It does not include the end, but it includes the start kind of thing. So. Uh, and uh, you can um, <clears throat> you can add two lists together, and it just, uh, as they say, concatenates them. It it forms one list where the second one follows the first first one. You can change the value of a list like this, and uh, you can. Um, uh, this is a way to add an element to to the list. Uh, and this is actually some fancy indexing. Uh, the The length of my list is not um, is not an index. Uh, it's not a valid index because it's it's uh, one one value higher, one one integer uh, number higher than the highest index of a list because of the way lists are numbered. Uh, anyway, and then uh, and this is how you delete it. And so that's lists, uh, the simplest thing. And then there's a bunch of list methods. And uh, this is how you add something to the end of the list. Uh, let's see. This is how you, you add a list to the end of a list. And here you can insert uh, an element into the list in a particular position. Let's see, uh, this is how you you remove elements. These are the so so these are <coughs> standard methods that you should know, and uh, <clears throat> you know it's hard to know them right off the, the top of your head if you've never used them before. But as you're writing code, uh, uh, whenever you are are solving a problem where you're using a list, uh, you're, you may want to refer, you can refer back to this page, which is 8.2. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, until you've done it a few times, then it'll get firmed up in your memory and your long, long term memory, and you won't have a problem anymore. Um, and there are similar terms in other languages and similar methods and so on, but they're not exactly the same. So, <clears throat> or you can Google them. <clears throat> so these are uh, list important list methods. You can sort the methods in the list. You can, you, can, uh, you can reverse them, which is a very interesting thing to be able to do. <clears throat> and so on, uh, count the number of times that a value is in a list, kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, so, so those are uh, list methods. And uh, lists, you can iterate over a list. And this is the standard way of iterating over a list. Uh, this is the list. And this is the particular element that you are looking at at, at any particular point in time, in, 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 uh, at any particular iteration. So there's a loop here. And the first time you go through it, my var is going to be equal to the first element of the list. And the next time it's gonna be the second element of the list and the third time the third, third element. And that that's, is what we say, we're iterating over the list. And um, <clears throat> so that's what's going on here. You're, you're, you're going through all of the, 
you're going through all of the tokens uh, in in this list called tokens. You're going through through each and every one of them, starting with the first one. It's in a particular order, and it looks like here you are um, appending or you're you're adding these these uh, tokens. Okay, so these tokens are are uh, it looks like they're strings because when you input, you're just inputting strings, you're inputting characters, uh, and then you can convert them to integers if you want to, or convert them to numbers, but you have to use a, use a function or a method to do that. That's what's going on here. So um, this is, uh, so anyway, that you, so here you're, you're iterating over a list by, by going through one element of the list at a time. Here, you are um, you're you're iterating, but you're you're going you're using a variable to index starting at zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to the the number of elements that there are in the list, and uh, it's uh, this is the list. It's called nums. You just created it here, and this is the length of the list, and so this is a range that goes from zero to the length of the, the length of nums minus one. And so it's the number of elements in, in, in nums is how many of them there are. And this starts at zero and goes up. So, so that's another way of iterating. And uh, this, this is iterating through the, um, so, so anyway, that, so, so just keep that in mind. All right, so that's iterating over a list. Uh, these are uh, built-in functions supporting list objects, and and uh, you know get the maximum element of the list, the minimum uh, element. Uh, this is a this is a function which returns a boolean, true or false. It's true if every element in the list is true. So, um, so anyway, so so just know that there's a bunch of built-in functions, and uh, you can go through this. Uh, you should go through this quickly to refresh your memory. That's right. You're getting uh, this is an actual assigned chapter, isn't it? So I guess you should you, you have to buzz through through this through this if you're having problems. Of course, the video is that's all that's all what these the these videos are. You don't need to watch the videos if it's if it's just as easy for you to go through these these uh, little activities here. Um, so uh, games. You can nest lists. You can have lists inside of lists. So here it's a, a list of lists. That's possible. And uh, there's a list of lists. The, the nesting is arbitrary, however you want to view it. Uh, splicing lists, that means you're, you're peeling out, you're slicing out sections of of a list to make a new list. It's just basically sublists, And there's a way of specifying where you start, where you end and so on. It's pretty uh, uh, kind of complex notation here. And, and when the time comes for you to need to know how to do it uh, is when you're gonna really figure out and understand how this works. But this is from the fifth to the ninth element and so on. Uh, all right, so that's splicing lists and uh, loops modifying lists. So, you know, you can iterate through a list and change elements one element at a time. You can add, add something to each element, uh, print them out and so on. Anyway, that's what this is about, Loop, loops modifying lists. And uh, let's see, list comprehensions. This is pretty important. So uh, you want to make a list, and it's based off another list. And so 
the way this works is, is you iterate through this other list that you're, that you want to iterate through that you want to create a new list based on. And so for each one of these, uh, you, for each one of the names, or, you know, in this case, it, it, it each element called name in this list called iterable, iterable, you apply this expression to it. And the result of this expression of computing this expression is, is the element that goes into the list. So for example, here, uh, we have a list, it's called my list. There's three elements in it, it's three integers. And so we want to create this new list it's called this, called list plus five. And the way we want to make it uh, is, and by the way, the result is this, by the way, see. And, and you notice it's five plus 10 and five plus 20 and five plus 30, see. So, so we're creating this list from this list. Well, how do we do it? Well, uh, each element in here is the result of iterating through my list. So for each element in my list, for each element i, let's call it i, this is the first time i is going to be 10, second time i is going to be 20, third time i is going to be 30. For each one of those, you take i and you add 5 to it. Okay. So this is the expression. The result of that expression the first time is going to be 15, you know, because 10 plus 5 is 15. So that's why there's a 15 that goes there. Next one, it's going to be 25, and next one's 35. Okay, so this is called a list comprehension. So it's you're, you're making a new list from an old list, same number of elements and everything usually. Uh, and this is just iterating through it. And you're going to do, you know, for each sing single one, you're going to, you have to have a name for it, a variable name for it. In this case, it's I. And then this I is usually in an expression. It's a variable in an expression, which is evaluated. And that's, that's what the element is that goes, actually goes in to the list you're creating. So anyway, um, those are list comprehensions. Here's a bunch of examples. Let's see, is 348. Sorting lists, nice sorting functions for the list. Um, so that's, that's, that's really handy. All right, uh, sort. Just all sort, yeah. It's all sort. Command line arguments. Uh, this is when you're. This is um, when you are running a program from the command line, which we don't do, and we're using this this system here, but uh, <clears throat> so we would have, um, let's see, let's open up the editor here. Uh, and I'm gonna take this copy and I'm gonna stick it in here, paste. And what this does is, is when you run this program, uh, you say Python and then you say the name of the program and then you give two parameters, just two more, two more arguments to this thing. Let me get rid of all this stuff. Uh, so, so you say, Python, or in my case, PY, and then the name of the program, but then you get two more arguments. And it takes it takes these arguments and it refer you refer to the first one this way. And the second argument refer you refer to it this way. So, uh, you know, that's just like, uh, okay, so this is the program and I can save it as well, I'm just going to save it as 
test y. That's what I'm naming it, test y. See, test y there. And then when I can bring up a command line prompt and go to my desktop and do Python. P, see if I can just do Python, if that'll work. Python, because it's version two, it might not work. Python test py space Trisha space 12. Hello, Trisha. Age is a great, no, 12 is a great age. Ah, okay. Nice. So it works. But anyway, that's all arguments are about, command line arguments. It's nice. Oh, and then engineering examples. Yeah, so if you were electrical engineering students taking your first circuits class, you would learn about the voltage drop across the resistor. Input ohms of five resistors. These are, anyway. Okay, so um, let's do, let's go to these, uh, labs it's 351 and let's go to uh uh we did this one tuesday let's do this one lab word frequencies all right implement the build dictionary function to build a word frequency dictionary from a list of words so you have a list of words here. It's a nice list. It's got some words in it. And we're supposed to, from this list of words, create a dictionary where uh, the index of each uh, element in the dictionary is the word. And the value, the key is the word and the value is the number of times that this, that the key appears in the original list, okay. See that? So we're supposed to make that. And here's what they start us out with. Uh, we're supposed to write the code that goes right here. And, and then when it runs, it asks the user for some input, and then it splits that input into the words separated by spaces. And then it uh, calls this build dictionary function, which we're gonna write. And um, uh, with the, the words uh, argument, it's a list, looks like a nice list here, comes in here as a list, and it, it uh, returns a, um, a dictionary and so and once the dictionary is returned then uh, we use the sorted uh, standalone method to sort the dictionary uh, by its keys these would be the words uh, and that's going to return uh, I guess a um, um, A list. It is a list. It's a it's a it's a list, and it's a sorted list. So it's all the keys. In fact, it's the same list that's going to be. It's sa same as this list, because the the keys here are just these words. But anyway, um, so so this returns another list. Uh, it's called sorted keys. And so then, you, so then you loop through all the sorted keys, you iterate all through the sorted keys, and um, uh, you display out the key, and then call it, which you know, which is a, just a word in alphabetical order, looks like, and then um, uh, it prints out the what the value is, how many times that word appears in the list. Uh, and then you got to convert it into a string because you're, you know, you're writing it out. All right. Uh, and you want this plus sign to be concatenating a string and not adding a number. So we have to write this code. 
Uh, let's see, I think I have some notes here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, so um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna copy this. Copy, and I'm gonna pop it in my. Um, my uh, right here. So I'm gonna start with this. And I'm, then I'm going to write this code right here. Okay, so the first thing uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define this dictionary that I'm going to be returning, and it's going to be this dictionary here. So, so I can uh, name it anything I want. Uh, I'm just going to return it when I'm done. So, uh, so what this dictionary is going to do is it's going to uh, or a frequencies dictionary. Where the key is going to be the word and the value of the dictionary at that the key at that for that key is uh, is the is the word's frequency. So I'm gonna uh, so I'm gonna uh, define a dictionary called frequencies f r e q u e n c i e s, and the way you define a dictionary is you do that. Okay, it's not a set; it's a dictionary. Uh, and then uh, there's a thing in here coming in here, words, that's a list. So then I'm gonna iterate uh, over the, the, the list of words. So four, and I'm gonna call it W for word, in words, uh, do something. And uh, what, it, what I'm gonna do is um, if word, if W is in, frequencies so um i think that's all i have to do i think so then it it, it knows that i i'm i mean the keys if it's if w is yes of course that's what it means if w if there is a a W in frequencies is what is what that ask what that's asking. If there is, then it then it already has a count. It's already in there. It already has a count. So I'm just going to increment it. Frequencies uh, the W. Uh, uh, add one. This is 148. Add one to it. And uh, otherwise. Otherwise, uh, I got to create that dictionary element for the first time. And basically, I just do it this way. Frequencies of W equals 1. Oops, 1. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, the, it looks like I'm done doing this. It's going to just go through all the words. And so when I'm done, I'm going to return frequencies. That's it. I think that's all we got to do. Um, so to run this, I would go um, oops, and I'm going to use uh, version my version three Python version three point nine point zero Python. So I'm going to do py test.py. Okay, now it's waiting. They're asking me for a uh, for some words, and I'm going to type in. Uh, All right, I'm just going to type in uh, hey, hi, Mark, hi, Mark, hey, dude. Okay, nice. 
that what it's supposed to print out? Is it sorted? Oh. <clears throat> um, let's see. Is that what it says to print out? Oh, it's supposed to print out. Uh, Oh, this is just, oh, this is just the function. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, the reason, uh, so it doesn't matter that it looks, it, that it doesn't look like this. It's supposed to uh, have this in, contained inside. Let's see what happens if I do this. Um, excuse me, uh, I'm gonna uh, do this. Print, what happens if I do this? Print your dictionary. I don't know what that's going to look like. Save this. Uh, hey, hi, Mark, Mark, hey, hi, there. Okay, yes. So this is what the dictionary looks like. Now, uh, it's sorted, this actually is sorted, and uh, the capital letters are smaller, come before the lowercase letters. The capital letters come before the lowercase letters. So that's why capital mark is, see, if, if I were to do this, uh, Hey, hey, there, Mark, 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 hey, Mark. Um, see, the capital H comes before capital M, but capital, uh, capital, uh, and capital H comes before lowercase h, and so on. So anyway. All right, so that looks like uh, I think you might have enough to be able to do this problem. So let's uh, let's go look at the next one here. It's four oh three. Okay, and this one. Scrabble is a word game in which words are constructed with letter tiles, each letter tile containing a point value. Okay, the value of a word is the sum of the each tile's points added to any points provided by the words placement of the game. Okay. Write a program using the given dictionary of letters and point values that takes a word and as input and outputs the base total value of the word before putting it up, putting it onto the board. So in other words, we're gonna uh, we can ignore this. Okay. Just ignore that means nothing in this problem. It's the value of a word is the sum of each tile's points. That's all we got to know. And so what happens is you type in these letters, which represent the words supposed to be on tiles. So presumably you have these tiles. Um, let me see what's going on. Okay, I opened up. I open up the chat in case anybody. All right. Um, so, uh, so, and these are the point values of the of the titles. So uh, you type in Python, and there's a P, which is three. Three plus four is seven. Plus one is eight. Plus four is twelve. Uh, plus one is 13, 
plus one is 14. And that's where this 14 comes from. So, um, so we're going to write code here that will read in a word and then um, uh, and then add up the uh, the points. So um, you can do it doesn't matter where you do it. I think I might just do it here. Uh, so I'm going to start with um, reading in the word. Takes a word as input. So word uh, equals input. Um, can I iterate iterate through a This is 140. Can I iterate through a string? But we're but th these are lists. So I think I should turn this into a list. I'm going to go over and um, <clears throat> copy. Paste. Uh, okay, so uh, I want to see what this looks like. Enter a word, um, Python. Okay, right. Okay, so that takes the word and creates a creates a list out of it, and then I'm going to iterate through the list. All right, I guess that works. Uh, okay, so uh, so I'm going to iterate through this list. And uh, so for uh, for each letter, for a letter in this word list, uh, I want to. Uh, oh, I've got to start by initializing something. Uh, a word value equals zero. And so for each letter in the list, a word value. I add on to word value. I'm going to add on tile dict of ooh. Um, how do I make it uppercase? Python uppercase upper. It's just upper, huh? It's not dot upper. It's just upper, okay. Upper. Letter. Okay. And then I'm going to print word value and see what this looks like. Python. Upper is not defined. So I'm not using upper properly. Python 
convert to upper case. Ah, that's what I thought. It's dot upper. That's what I was asking myself earlier. I got to go like this. Dot upper. Language dependent stuff. Okay, so let's uh, save that. And then, oh, I want to add a space here. Boom, boom. So, intro word, Python, 14, okay. So, of course, you don't want to print that. And you might want to clean it up a little bit. But basically, that's, uh, that is the code you put there. Oh, I guess they're using the word. Uh, word. What did I use? Oh no, that's right. Oh no, that's right. Load default. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, it's only um, so I've pretty much covered all of the sections here, uh, or all of the the extra labs for chapter eight. So you have pretty much everything you need now to complete. Um, all of the exercises, uh, activities, and so on in Chapter 8. So are there any questions? Let me uh, stop sharing. All right. Well, um, so uh, make sure you go and check off the times that you can uh, have class next week and I will come out with those this weekend and uh, I'll, I'll post this video up in that video section uh, in the class video section and resources and I'll also uh, put links on the calendar. So if there's no other questions, uh, I think I'll uh, end the session. All right, thank you. See you next time.